What's going on guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing the next episode of the People's Republic of Turkey. Um, I just want to go ahead and say this now. I am sorry I have not been active as much. Um, I am going to get back into posting regularly, and I am um, excited to get on with this. And I am also going to begin taking in submissions and uh, suggestions on what uh, country I should do next. Um, I am also trying to diversify my videos and I am going to plan on doing other games other than Power and Revolution and um, I am pretty excited for that so um, I am looking forward to the future of what is going to happen and, and I am about uh, 180 subscribers from hitting 1000 subscribers so just uh, someone just make 180 accounts and help me out guys. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and go to our army. It looks like our um, employment is starting to go down, but we are starting to fill up those uh, appointments by putting them in the army. Um, we have very low unemployment. It was sitting at about 4%. Um, legislation, we're going to go ahead and increase um, minimum wage. We have a single party. But today we are going to officially secure um, our position as the head of state. And so we, what we are going to do is we are going to come over here. We're going to go to parliament. We're going to determine the levels of parliament. Uh, that's a new option. Party under the control of the single party. I think we're going to go ahead and move it down to party under the control of the single party. We're going to do a news thing. Obviously, we have support. And next, we are going to increase spending on uh, that. And let's go ahead and go to the next day. We should have some protests. We are expecting some protests. We're expecting resistance against these calls. So we have a riot. We are going to deploy the military. Um, riders, riders. Obviously we get some people that don't like those ideas that we have. And here we go, we have nationwide protests. 167,000 people are protesting against these actions. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. Okay, and we have a sit-in. Call for police intervention. Um, okay, uh, what else do we need to do in order to, um, okay, we have a police charge. Okay, shut up. So we took care of the protest, and we did lose a bunch of popularity. When should this, um, go into effect? This should go in effect on the 17th of September. So let's go ahead and skip to the 17th of September, and in which we would um, officially create parliament under control of the single party and um, secure our power as uh, um, Turkey. So continue 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 the law is passed party under the national assembly's control let's go ahead and pause this mr president name of what do you place the national assembly under adjustment do you want to transform though the speaker of the house to a totalitarian country subject to president's sole impotent role this measure is scandalous and all the members of the assembly ask that you re-establish its independence as soon as possible the legislature must re remain separate from the executive 
Well, if you were that against it, why did you... Why did my party vote for it? That's the weird part, because my party voted for it. So it looks like we only have three options to um, for Parliament. If we move it to uh, no motions of no confidence, that would uh, put it back into a sort of a democratic control. But our main option is to go to a consultative role and no real power. So Parliament would not have any power over what we do. Technically, we are not a parliamentary regime anymore. We are t definitely a totalitarian regime. So let's go ahead and skip a few days. You know, just kind of let let things settle down. Make sure we don't get shot or something like that. We're going to have to do some things to ensure that people actually like us. Let's go ahead and go over here to NBC and we're going to see how many nuclear weapons we have created. We have six nuclear weapons. And um, that is good. We are developing nuclear weapons. And... Um, we are definitely um, creating um, weapons of self-defense against other nuclear powers, most likely to defend off Russia um, and Saudi Arabia. As well as ISIS, because if ISIS starts screwing with us and they start attacking our actual cities, then we can just send a nuke their way. Let's go ahead and go over to energy. Um, we have a very, very diverse uh, electric production system. Um, we are spending $31 billion, $32 billion actually, on uh, on our um, energy sector. We have very low inflation. That is good. Um, so I think we are going to be lowering interest rates. And let's go ahead and lower interest rates actually. And let's go to the next day. Um, let's go ahead and put that on fast forward. Put go to the cabinet. We do not need to reform cabinet yet. Um, I think there may be a time where we possibly might want to do that. Looks like we are deep green with Iran now. Um, 76 and 74. But we have strong relations with Iran. We are helping them with counterterrorism operations. And they love us for it. So, mm. so let's go to education. Um, Looks like we do have a conflict going on. The Democratic Republic of the Congo has gone to, get, gone to war against Rwanda. We are not going to get involved. There is no reason for us to get involved. Um, just a possibly a minor conflict, even though there might be hundreds of thousands of deaths. And But we have no strategic position to get involved. We have no reason to get involved. Um, if NATO allies do get involved, then we possibly might get involved. We might send at least a few thousand troops. But other than that, we have no reason to really get involved in the conflict. Damage estimate, let's go ahead and give them $10 million. $12 million. We have $5 billion cash surplus. Uh, let go to the UN. Media, we already have uh, state control over the media. Soon enough, we can actually make it uh, public. Head of state. Nomination. Appointed by the single party. Let's go ahead and get the opinion of the people. Parliament definitely wouldn't adopt it. So they're really, really against what I'm doing right now. Huh. Um, this might think make things a little more difficult. Determine. So I wonder how elections happen. That's the weird thing. Um, elections. Change the system. Two turns, one term.
We have a meeting with Croatia. We're going to refuse it. International meeting. National holiday. Hmm. So let's look at a few other national organizations that we've been in. Okay, we are we are only in two other. G <laughs> wow, we are only in the G20 and we are in NATO. So if we leave NATO, then we're done for. NATO is definitely against us. And actually, I want to check this. NATO. No, Austria is not in NATO. Huh. Some other countries I'm actually thinking of doing um, would be possibly Austria. Um, maybe not Austria. Um, Sweden. Possibly Egypt. Iran. India. China. Japan. Australia. Mexico. Brazil. Um, South Africa. Botswana. Venezuela, Colombia, stuff like that. So if, if you guys have a suggestion, um, I actually might make a uh, straw poll. And I will leave it to you guys on what kind of countries you want me to play. I will pick the most interesting countries that I believe would be fun to play. And um, I will leave it to you guys. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and come back to Health and Social Security. Let's go ahead and look at some legislation to see what we can do. And maybe we can start a pension. $20. Let's do it. This bill is currently being drafted. So let's go ahead and see the reaction to uh, me creating a pension. High density in the labs. Let's go ahead and come over to research. Go to building. Let's make 20 more, distribute over to Terra. Uh, abstain. And then another idea. All right, I was the only one to abstain. Everyone else accepted it. That's hilarious. Um, which actually, the train system in Southern Turkey has actually completed. From Izmir all the way to Adana. So the train is officially in service. Look at that. Perfect infrastructure. So let's go down to transportation and let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and check you. See what kind of infrastructure you have. You obviously have highway and uh, train miles. You have a medium traffic airport. It's awful. Huh. Let's just go over to police. It's going to give you about 10,000 more people. So someone in our cabinet was just assassinated. Minister of Health, let's go ahead and put someone in our party back in. Another group. Um. Not producing a lot of oil. When does agreement end? 2028, 2021, and 2022. Soon enough, we may have to start making more oil contracts and contracts um, such as with the United States or Germany in order to continue and sustain high growth to develop our country. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and put some more money in education. 
Let's go give him some money to aids and grants, backup classes, uh, renewal and maintenance. Oh boy, how much do we got to spend? Okay, let's not do renewal and maintenance. Let's give them to the exceptionally gifted and teaching local languages. Correspondence classes, let's see how much that is. Student accommodation. Okay, 2.3 billion, that seems okay. So we're going to go ahead and allow that and put some more, about 2.6 billion dollars of funding into education. And um, that will be good for that department there. Um, all right, so there's a revolutionary guard. Let's go ahead and go over here. Let's launch. And go in. Um, Greece. No, I don't like Greece. Happiness increases in Turkey, obviously, because the people love People love it. Believe me. Believe me. Let's go to them. Obviously, human rights. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Since the beginning of the game, we've been doing really good on that. Um, national wealth. Healthcare. Uh, environment. Education. Purchasing power. Let's actually look at purchasing power um, before we head out. Population, GDP per capita, 15,000 to 20,000. So we are doing very good on uh, purchasing power. So, well, if you guys like this, um, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. Um, go ahead and vote in the poll that I will be linking in the description. And I will see you guys uh, in the next episode of the People's Republic of Turkey.